if you've never used mouse pulls for your plants, you ain't good company because I haven't either. I've just never found any ones that I actually like that were aesthetic. And I have a huge collection and I've grown large leaves despite them. But Russo Plant Care has a moss pull that completely fits my aesthetic and it's just something that I would want to display in my home. So I have everything right here and we're going to put it together. We are also going to mount a plant on it. I did an unboxing video, check that out if you haven't seen it. I said that I was going to use the strawberry shape for the moss pole, but I changed my mind because I think that this philodendron wash whiskey eye Aurea would make a much better fit. Now, before I get this mounted, this is in desperate need of a repot. This is needed repotting for at least a month. So we're gonna repot this, get it onto the pole, and it's gonna be beautiful. Let's get started. So this is everything that came in the box. I have the actual moss pole itself. It comes with moss pole extenders. And you actually, you get a, you get a few of these. I just have one out here. And the mount is this really nice, heavy, solid wood. And then this is just the, the poles that attach to it. Then we have some spag moss. They also included a substrate. I can't remember what it's mixed with, but this is like an aerate centric mix. Okay, so first it says I need to remove this film. So I'm gonna do that. And then, what else? All right, so I'm gonna fold this in and put this together like that just putting these in holes this is pretty straightforward I don't know why I'm so excited about this but I, I really am my plant collection is already really mature and I have lots of big leaves on it but I don't know I want to see the magic you guys talk about when I hear about moss posts see if all the talk is right Let's see what we got to do next isn't this so nice this is genuine artwork someone actually told me that they frame theirs this is really nice isn't it I think what we're going to do is I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to start working on the base I do not see instructions on putting this together, but this looks pretty straightforward. So I am going to just wing it. From the photos I've seen, I think this goes in here. Okay, the other way. So I'm gonna take this out. All right, I'm gonna put this in here. The craftsmanship on these are super quality. That's also one of the reasons why I haven't had a moss pole yet is because I don't know, I just, I'm really particular about what I put into my home and there's so many things or products on the market and I, I get affordability, but I want things that last. I want things that are gonna last. I want things that are gonna look really good. Like, do any of you know if they make like a power Allen wrench tool? Because every time I have to put something together, this is kind of the annoying part of putting things like this together. Next, let's see. Okay, again, pretty straightforward. All right, Dana, okay. Okay, all right, this is, this is, this is pretty easy. Get this one in. All right, so that's nice and tight. And I think we're, that's crazy. I think we're done. I think we're done with this. What else do we need to do? Fill the moss pole with sphagnum moss, our chunky airway mix to ensure your plant's growth tip is at the bottom of the pole. Okay, I think we're on our own now, which is fine. This is super straightforward. I can, I can, I got it. All right, so there is one thing that I can see that's gonna be slightly problematic is there are lots of holes in here for aeration, but I don't necessarily need them because <laughs> it gets really hot in my apartment and plants dry out really quickly. If I leave these holes like this, I'm going to be watering this moss pole quite often and I wanna avoid doing that. Give me a sec. Okay, I am back and this is what I got. We went a little off script. I do that, I tend to do that. I had some um, privacy film lying around for my windows and I just thought it would be easy to put on here to cover these holes. I have a ridiculous amount of natural light in the house and a lot of my plants, the algae forms so quickly on it. So this is kind of tinted and I think that's gonna work too. And then I put some clear tape inside of here um, to really cover these holes up. This side quest took me like an hour. But I think it's gonna be worth it. Now, I am not going to close this immediately because I'm also gonna go off script <laughs> in another moment <laughs> with the way that I'm gonna fill this in. I, I am, this is why I can't follow cooking recipes because I'm always changing things. 
All right, let me bring the Wash Whiskey Eye up here. What it? What is this? Did I even? I didn't even open this. Let's see what this is. Oh, nice. I, okay, so let's get to the repot. Actually, you know what I want to do first? I'm gonna put this back up here, and I just want to see what that's gonna look like. Yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. All right, they included substrate, and while I oh, I really appreciate that, it's this chunky arrowhead substrate, I use Lechuza Pond. It is a mineral substrate, it looks like this, includes a few minerals in here. There is lava rock and pumice and zeolite, and also a slow breeze fertilizer. We're gonna put him to the side. I don't need him yet, so let's see. All right, let's see what we're working with. Look at these roots. These roots have gone absolutely crazy. We are going to not be gentle. <laughs> and just pull this on out of here. This is not going to be able to come with it because these holes are too small. All right, I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna put this to the side. All right, so this is a self-watering planter. It is a Lechuza Maxi QB. And I think this is gonna be perfect for this plant. All right, let's go ahead, let's take this out. Let's line the bottom with pond, with Lechuza pond. You know what, I probably should have put the pole in first. I want the pole to face this way, so I'm going to, I think this looks good because I want I want this to go in the back and I want the front of the plant to be right here. So I think this is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and backfill. And then I'm gonna place the plant in here. One of the things that's kind of annoying is that um, there's a lot of plant for the pot here and that's because the pot that it was in, this is the next size up from that pot and it's a big difference. Let me go ahead and backfill all this in first. I'm already starting, like this is already coming together. I'm starting to get excited about it. Now I'm gonna take these aerial roots. I always do this when I repot. If I have aerial roots, I make sure that they go into the substrate that I'm using. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and put some of the aerial roots inside the moss pole. Give them a little jump start to start getting rooted in here. Let's do that. And you know what, I'm gonna take this one and do the same thing. I'm just gonna put it right here. Uh, are there any other roots? Nope, there are no more roots left. I think this looks good. I'm being really careful because Placement is not my strong suit and a lot of times I have to take the plant out of the planter and put it all the way back in and do the repot over again and we don't want to do that this time. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the back fill. Let's fill some of the moss pole. And I'm putting pond in here. They also included some, they also included spag moss. So I wet it uh, right here and I'm gonna mix this with the Lechuza Pond. And I'm also going to put a layer of moss on the front because this is pretty big. These holes are pretty big, so I don't want the pond to fall out. So I'm gonna put a layer of moss. And I'm gonna add purely pond at the base so that this can just be more securely in the planter. And now I'm gonna fill the rest of this. Getting a, making a mess. And I wanna get, here's this aerial root right here. Let me see if I can gently get him down. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do it, I know you can. So let's do this. We are looking good. One of the benefits to using pond is that it's heavy. And so when you put things like poles, like plant stakes and things like that, they can fit really securely down here and not move. I really like that about using pond because it's just so heavy. All right, we are done. Now, all that's left to do is to start packing this with spag moss. I'm gonna empty this out 
right here. I hope I have enough. And I'm gonna take some, put it to the side. I'm eyeballing all of this, so mix this up. I'm eyeballing it. I'm not mixing it up in any kind of particular way, just until I feel it looks good. And yeah, okay. I want there to be more pond in here than moth. <laughs> Random allocation corn. Oh, yeah, I recycle my plant upon. This stuff is too expensive to be using. Look, here's another one. This stuff is too expensive to be using it and throwing it away. All right. So now let's start. <laughs> ah, I just can't follow the regular directions. I don't know why. I don't know what the problem. You know what? That doesn't look that bad. That doesn't look bad. I'm going to take this little tool right here and I'm going to pack this down a little bit. I am very concerned with keeping this capillary action going with the self-watering planter. I'm also concerned about this drying out too quickly. So I'm going to pack this down. Alrighty. Let's keep filling. You know what? I might not even have to use another layer of moss. I think this is gonna work out really well. All right. And keep filling. All right, now I think it is time to start adding moss to these little moss over here just to get this back all right so nothing falls out all right it's coming together it is coming together pack this on in and this is just straight moss this doesn't have the pond in it i also wet this with mosquito bits because i'm afraid of fungus gnats I'm gonna continue filling in There are little Lekka balls in here too. I swear, I am not particular with almost anything. <laughs> Gardens, the plants are my life. All right, let's pack this down. Pack it down. Nice. And then, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. I'm a little upset. I don't understand. Why I can't do things right. I'm gonna have to watch the footage back and see how I messed up, how this just moved so much. I'm, I'm trying to turn this around without having to repot it. How did I do, how did this happen? Seriously, how did this happen? Dang it, I'm gonna have to dump this now. I hate that. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. I ended up having to do this over again. I have no idea where I went wrong with the placement. I told y'all, I always have to do this. Like for some reason, the placement gets me every time. Okay, let me double check. Okay. I can't believe I did that, y'all. All right, let's turn it around and let me get this. It came with these straps, so I'm gonna put them on here. All right, I think this is gonna work. Okay, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with this. All right, let me go ahead and backfill again. They also included these little, um, I don't know what these are, but they secure the plant, but this plant was being unruly, so I couldn't really use this. Once it starts wanting to be there, I'm gonna exchange it for this right here. So put this to the side for a second and let, let us continue. We're, we're packing things in. And I 
I am going to, you know what? Uh, I'm going to stop right here actually. Cause I don't, it's going to take a while. So I'm going to stop right there. I'll fill it. Yeah. I'm going to stop right here. I'll fill the rest later. I'll, I'll fill the rest as it starts growing a little bit more, but let me make sure that I pack some of the moss in here. Like the, just the straight moss. All right. It's my little, let's mash this down. And I'm going to just trim this up. So it looks good. All right. We look good. I think we're done. I think we're done with this part. This took a lot longer than it should have, which is my fault. All right. We are ready to move on to the next step. It also came with this. I don't know what this is. It looks like a hook. I literally could just ask, like reach out to them, but it's just not convenient at the moment. So if you guys know what, the, I'll reach out to them later, but if you guys know what this is, drop it in the comments. Anyway, all right. I'm excited. <laughs> all right. It's happening. This is, this is great. This is great. And ah, I like this just the place for this for the past five years this has been hanging up this this is a kangaroo paw moss and it's been hanging up here um, and it has seen better days and I think that the moss pool would just look a lot better here so I'm gonna do that all right guys I really like this thank you so much Russo plant care for this amazing moss pole and mount I have a discount code for you guys. If you use Leafy Diva 15, the link is down in the description. You get 15% off of your order. That is all for me. Like and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Bye.